Hello, hi friends. My name is Sarvansh, and thank you for watching my other videos about SSEM and Intune tutorial. So today's video, we are going to discuss how you can enroll Windows device into Intune console. So let me start this video. I am uh, on the Intune uh, console. So here I can see in the uh, console and uh, under the devices, let's see how many devices we have. So I don't have any of the devices right now. If I'm going for in the old devices, so here I don't have any of the devices. And let me go to the Azure Active Directory. So this is my the Azure AD console. And here if I can see in the Azure Active Directory under the devices, so here I have the one device. So let me start. Uh, uh, let me explain you how you can enroll a device into Intune console. So I'm going to my the test machine. So this is the my the one of the test machine and uh, we'll see uh, before uh, we are going to enroll this device some of the prerequisite so when were we can check out the windows version first so you need to validate on the microsoft site which uh, windows 10 version is compatible to enroll in your intune console so before you enrolling you should be make sure you are using the latest version for the windows or at least the minimum version minimum supported version on a Intune so this is the one thing another thing is uh, you need to start enrolling how you can do that so you can go to the setting and uh, before that let me show you how you can check the logs file from where you can go so you need to go here and uh, inside the application so let it open uh, so here we can see in the progress or you can say the logs file how the device is getting enrolled or registered into your Intune console so Microsoft under the windows and you need to go to uh, user device enrollment sorry device registration you need to go here and here you can see in it's no logs we have yet so when we start enrolling the device automatically logs will be creating here so uh, let me go to the setting and uh, under the setting is uh, accounts so go to the accounts and go to the access your school account go here and here you have to use your azure ad account to register or your and all your device into intune so uh, how you can do basically you can register your account uh, your device into azure active directory and from there automatically it will enroll to intune console so you, you need to watch my the last video how the connectors will work or how the c name will work or how we can integrate your intune console with azure active directory so let me put my the email address so once zero zero eight at the rate uh hardfunch sing dot on Oh, so microsoft.com so I am adding my machine to the Azure Active Directory and from there it will automatically enroll to my the Intune console so let's see how it will be getting registered so now make sure uh, this is your the organization join And when you are enrolling a device you should be your machine should be compliance with the policy what you created in your Intune it should be pass all the parameters then only it will enroll or else enrollment will be failed so now uh, in this video we are just trying to understand how you can do the enrollment what is the the simplest process to enrolling a device so now it is almost done let me click on done and it added the account in in your um, access work or the school so now your azure account is added here so now let's see the logs file how you can analyze let me go and uh, refresh it 
and here if you seen it the latest log is says a device sync was the successfully enabled so guys basically it's uh, enrolling the certificate from azure active directory automatically when you are putting your azure ad account so in the back end automatically it will pull the azure uh, active directory authentication certificate so let's try to understand what it does in starting to enrolling a day five so discovery request and operation was the successfully and later on it went to the discovery operation callback was the successfully and it giving you the lot of information so let us try to read this so let me go this and just paste on the notepad and here you can see in the discovery operation callback was successfully what exactly it did so server response it tried to connect with the server and how it was connecting it was connecting enterprise registration dot windows dot net with my the account uh, with the domain hard one sync dot microsoft domain and uh, then what it did let me go enter and the device uh, registration service device registration service is the android server later on it went to the registration user id with this user id and it's doing is the own process how we can pull it out the authentication server from the azure active directory so let's see the another logs if you go the next up uh, it will be device uh, sync up was successfully disabled so it was already sync up that's why it's disabled then it went to the uh, initially join the request was the successfully input with the join the one device join and it was joined with this domain then the join operation was the successfully and send it to the server then it's showing the get the join response operation callback from the successfully so now it reached to the azure active directory and giving uh, back to you the service information so what the information is giving let's see under the notepad so uh, to get join response operation callback was the successfully and the activity id is this so server response was to connecting on this and uh, this is what the it's showing the certificate so it's uh, uh, this certificate under the hash code it's enrolled under the user so we can validate uh, whether the certificate enrolled in our uh, certificate or not so uh, let's validate the certificate first here um, we can go with the mmc let's check out the servers was uh, certificate was enrolled or not so let me go here and the certificate okay and here is the my current account okay fine so now click yes so i'm going here to check how validate the my certificate was enrolled or not okay so it's uh, still it not done so it, it will be i think after the reboot it it will turn so it's showing it's fetched but uh it not showing i i will check it out the where i can check the certificate okay so now let me go with the uh, uh azure active directory first so this is the my azure active directory and here is the one only the one machine is showing and uh let me refresh this so let me refresh my console what it is showing it's showing like a okay so this is what the my account it it got uh, sorry uh, this is the my the device byod and uh, it was enabled register uh, so it's joined with the azure active directory and now it's showing the as a compliance as well so now this machine is joined with the azure active directory and uh, we can go now with our intune console and let's see whether this device is showing here or not so my the device is uh, with the name is a byod is added to in my the intune console so again all about the your the compliance setting and uh, your the connector setting how you are using or how you are managing uh, in between your azure and the sscm so 
I put it in the under the setting I can show you that after this so BYOD Intune corporate at the compliance is yes Windows OS Windows version last check in this and uh, the primary UPN number is this so now this device is enrolled here completely and it's showing the compliance as well so what the setting I was talking in my the last video I shows you guys uh, in if you go to the enrollment automatic enrollment and uh, under the automatic enrollment I put it the all uh, so whenever the device reach to the Intune console then automatically it will enroll here but if you want to discover uh, for a particular group so you can go here and select your the specific group so you can see in the group here into testing I created for the to showing in, in my the last video so you can just see go back to my the YouTube channel and search of the last video to how you can uh, discover for a particular specific group but to creating this video I was selecting to for this all so all group as soon by the device reach to the Intune console if it is related to the any of the group it automatically it will discover to my the Intune console so let's see the other things what we can validate here so uh, let me close this the logs file is fine so you can see uh, the logs file under the event viewer so this is the one of thing and uh, now let me go and check which is the account now I have login who am I so still it's showing the my the ones account and uh, so let me restart this machine quickly then uh, the account will change and it will be logged in with the Azure Active Directory account so let me quickly reboot this machine and we can check the other things as well okay so my machine got rebooted now uh, let me log in in my machine uh, so uh, I'm going to log in with my the um, Azure Active Directory account so if you if you have not seen it so like I can put it here 1008 at the rate harpunch sync dot on microsoft.com so now I'm getting login with my the um, with my Azure account that I was added I love we restarted the machine and uh, now we are getting login with my the Azure Active Directory account okay so now uh, we logged into uh, with the Azure AD account so let's see the few things here who am I we can check whether it's okay so now uh, it's showing um, Azure AD Harvan Singh uh, with my the account and uh, so uh, now we log in with the Azure Active Directory account and we can just go with the some event we will log we, we and uh, we can check the logs file and even we can open the MMC as well So we can validate the certificate as well if we if we got here the certificates or not so here uh, this is the new certificate we received and this certificate is for the smart card I think uh, that is enrolled with the device uh, but uh, you will be getting the certificate details here so when your device is getting enrolled to into Azure Active Directory 
so you will be receiving the certificate here so I'm not sure why it, it is getting the certificate only for the smart card so uh, let's see the logs file uh, let it open here and uh, then we'll validate all the logs already we validate the last time uh, but uh, we can check it out the one time how the logs file was uh, looks like so let me go to the Microsoft and uh, the Windows user device registration so here you can check out the logs uh, how we was performing uh, our action so you can, here you can validate all the logs again uh, how your the device was getting registered into azure active directory and how it was pulling the uh, certificate from azure active directory so guys these are the things uh, which you can use and uh, then you can just validate your machine into azure active directory whether it's enrolled or not or here you can check out the azure Azure Active Directory join with the owner is Harman Singh uh, as MDM is Microsoft Intune and it is compliance or when it was registered so you can check out the details here and when you go to the uh, the Intune Intune console you can go to the all devices and you can check out uh, in the BYOD uh, device name is BYOD managed managed by the Intune it is uh, the um, uh, ownership it is showing the corporate but it's supposed to show the byod but uh, due to the policies and all it's showing like a it's calculating as a corporate device this is the compliance yes in the uh, os is windows so when uh, when you create the policies uh, perfectly then it will categorize is the ownership as well is it related to your uh, the corporate or your byod so uh, but I take in this scenario just to make you understand how you can handle all the devices so guys uh, we cover up a lot of things how you can check the logs certificate uh, how you can add your machine into Azure AD and how it will reflect in the Intune console so thank you for watching this video see you soon in my the next video uh, so guys thank you Please subscribe my channel and share the videos with your friends.